Hello there, it's Karen from craftylittlemisskay.co.uk here. Um, today I'm not making a paper craft item, I'm making something for Christmas. This is my ratty old dining room table that badly, badly needs to be revarnished, but I'm using this still because my craft room still isn't ready. So, I'm not going to show you the end result yet, I'm just going to go through piece by piece what you will need to make a Santa wreath. Okay, so first of all, I've got a wire wreath form that I got from Hobbycraft because I wanted it quickly. You can probably get them a bit cheaper online if you looked around and that's 12 inches in circumference. I've got a roll of tulle, just the ordinary white, I haven't got anything sparkly, I've just got the white tulle and this is about 6 inches long, uh, wide and I think it's about 25 yards long. So I'm going to be needing that. I've got some cute little um, LED lights which I've taken the tab out of so I have to just check to make sure they're all working which they are. So I'll just turn that off so I don't use the batteries up. I bought these on Amazon. I will add the link um, in my blog as to where you know the link for them if you want to get them yourself. I got them as a pack of 10, I think it was. Um, obviously, I need my Santa hat, which I got from either the Pound Shop or Pound Stretches or somewhere like that. Just a little nice fleecy type one. Okay, and then I got some just ordinary Ready Reader spectacles. These were from Pound Stretches, they're only a pound, um, which I'm going to cannibalise. I've actually done one set already, if I show you what I've done. it's All I've done is I've sort of stretched them out so they're nice and flat. The idea is these are going to be Santa's glasses, because he has to wear glasses. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm strong enough to actually bend the arms in, so I should probably have to call on my lovely husband to deal with that later on tonight, once he gets home from work. But I'm sure he's got some pliers or something that will bend those over. The idea being... But once you've done all your Santa's beard, these will then go on about there, you know, probably roughly where your eyes would be, I guess. And, and um, I'm going to get him just to bend over the legs, you know, both sides. OK. And then finally, I've got a 12 inch strip of cardboard from an old box that came during the week, um, which I'm going to use as my measuring guide for my tool. What I'm going to do, I've seen this on, online and it's a really good idea rather than because you need about 12 inch strips of this stuff. So rather than cutting them individually using a ruler, I'm just going to wrap them around the cardboard until I've used up pretty much all of the, um, the roll. I'm going to do this off camera. Um, and then once I'm done, I'll come back on camera and we'll just snip up the sides and that will give me lots and lots of 12 inch strips at all. Okay, so. Okay, so I've come back in because I'm coming to the end. Like you see, I've, all I've done is I've wrapped it round and round and round until I get to the end of the roll. I haven't counted how many feet there are in this, but obviously you can work out if you've got 25 yards. Um, okay, so there we go, that's the end of it. Oh, that's stapled on, I think. That's glued on, so let's see if I can just gently ease that off of there. There we go. Is it full length? Yes, it is. There we go, almost a full length, so that's great. So you can keep this, I'm sure I'll find something, some use for that. Maybe I'll take the plastic ends out and use them for napkin rings or something. So, so I've got this here ready now. So I'm just going to get my larger scissors and I'm hoping these, these are my paper ones. I'm hoping it's actually going to cut through. So, oh yeah, just about. So what I'm going to do is going to cut through, right through to the other end. Oh, maybe I should have got my dressmaking ones out after all. Just turn it over and do the same to the other side. This might be a bit easier now it's loose at the other end. I don't think I've got all the pieces now. Oh, I have. Oh, yeah, I have. Okay. Oh, yeah, definitely going to get my dressmaking scissors out next time. Okay, all done. So, there we go. So I'll keep that for my next project. So I'm going to make some of these for family so I hope none of them are going to see this okay so there we go and then all you need to do is bring back your ring let's just get rid of that label I'll just cut that off that can be under the hat it doesn't matter if it's a bit I don't want to make it sticky so that can just under the hat that part. okay and then the idea is let's get rid of that is you work out roughly about a third of the way down the ring for the hat because you don't want it to come too far down so that's going to come on like that I'll hot glue gun that later so this part here is the bit let me see all that this part here is the part that you're going to um, make the beard so basically you just get one piece at a time scrunch it up a little don't fold it like I just did and then just tie 
into a knot. I've seen on, on online where they just tie it once, but I think because it's quite slippery, this material, I'm going to tie it into a knot. It's going to be quite a short beard. I might have to change my mind. Anyway, so there we go. So I'm going to pause again while I go all the way around and come back and hopefully it will look all nice and fluffy, fluffy like Santa's beard. I'm going to put the shorter bits in windward so you get a nice longer beard on the outside. Okay. So this has taken me maybe 20 minutes or so to tie all these up. This is my, going to be my last one. Um, just make sure when you tie them, tie them fairly tightly. I've got a little bit of tool left, as you can see. That can be for another project. And then just make sure you push them down really hard together so it's nice and tight on the back. And then just give it a bit of a, a zhuzh or a fluff up. And there's his beard. And then when it comes time for me to put the hat on, I will put it just over the end ones a little bit and I'll glue that down so you get that effect. So it's coming together now. So the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, I think what I'll do is I'll see if I'll just poke these through for now. Like I said, I think my husband's going to have to bend them for me because I don't have the strength in my hands to do it. So if I just find a gap, it's so tight together I can't find the gap at the back. There we go. So that's that one. I hope you can see this. I'm trying to do it on camera. And if I just put that one in there for now. And maybe a little bit of hot glue or something will help that as well. So, starting. can you see his face is starting to form there? Okay. So, I'm going to pause it again while I get my hot glue gun ready. Right, okay, the hot glue gun is ready now. So, I'm just going to put some... Get it to go coming through. Let's see if it comes. It's a new stick in there, so I have to wait for it to come up and push, push it all the way in. There we go. If I've got it on, I've got it on low. Maybe I should have put it on high. Okay. So it's just going to be on the back. My plug is a little ways away, so I've got to turn everything around and do this to one side, just push that mesh back into and then lots of glue right, the hot glue gun wasn't quite hot enough so I just waited for a bit longer until it melted a bit more so I've done the back I'm just going to pop some glue put your glue under the front there just to hold it in place oh, that's hot ok and the same on this side that's it. There we go. So that's the start. That's my glue stick popping back. Oh, that's it. That's very hot now. I'm just going to turn it back onto low now. Okay. So what I've done is I've put a little tiny bit of glue underneath there just to hold the pom pom down, and I'm going to stuff the hat with some just ordinary plastic bags that I got from the local farm shop. They and charge you for them and I thought that would be ideal just to fluff up his hat just a little bit so I'll just use that around a little bit there we go so there we go it's coming along nicely now now the next part I want to do is I want to put the lights on so I'm going to turn it over and remember of course that my glasses aren't in safely yet and I'm going to get my lights and I'm just going to in fact they've really glued themselves partly because I've got stuck to my glue gun these are LED lights, they don't get hot, you can actually glue it, you can glue them in. I'm just going to tuck them under, if I can find the bits of the tool, um, no I can't, I'm going to have to glue them on and I will come back when it's all done and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue, make sure I don't glue the lid so you can change the batteries, I'm going to glue the lid, the, the battery pack just inside of the hat so that uh, you can get access to it when the batteries run out. Okay so I'll just pause again, sorry. Okay, so I've gone freehand with this because my camera was just too close to the table. My uh, little stand that I put my phone on isn't very tall and I normally put it on a shelf above my workstation, but using the table obviously there's nowhere to hang it. Anyway, so yes, here's the finished article. I did have to stop. Um, I had phone calls and people come to the door, so I thought, oh, just, just stop for a minute, get that all sorted out. So as you can see, I've got the lights on. Um, he's not finished yet because I've still got to get those glasses sorted out. So if I just sort of twist him around so you can see the back... 
what I did because the lights are quite long so I've doubled the, the, the wire up so um, you know sort of like just sort of put it round and then back again just used a bead of a hot glue just around here these lights aren't hot at all so they'll be quite safe on this um, yeah little uh, the, the little um, battery thing is in here somewhere oh yeah you can see it flickering then a little bit of ribbon on the back I actually made it too long the loop and it needed to be higher so when you put a loop on the back sew it up a bit higher rather than down here like I did because he was leaning forwards too far so yeah so he's got somewhere to hang when I put my hook out on the I'm going to keep him inside actually because I don't think I want him out on the front door in case he disappears but there you go okay so I'm quite pleased with that it's my first attempt to at making anything like this I've never used this stuff before my sister's a florist in the family, so she's obviously used to it, but I've never used it before. So I'm quite pleased how he's turned out, and I should be making some more. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.